hello everybody welcome to my channel today i have a new topic for you which is uh, a mathematical problem solution of linear curve fitting of using least square method okay so here is our problem which is you can see use method of least square to fit a straight line in following data so in the mathematical problem you will be given a data of x and y as you can see all the values 0 5 10 15 20 and 7 11 16 20 and 26 it means that n equals 5 because you have seen this this pair and this pair this is number one pair this is number two three four and five there are five pairs it means that the n value of n is five you will be providing this kind of information in your mathematics so what is our ultimate question that we need to find out we need to find out the estimated value of y when x equal 25 here we can see the value of x is a given at most is 20 but we don't know that what is the value of 25 and we also don't know the value of y if the x value is 25 we need to find that value of y when x is equals to 25 so let's go into our solution so here is the solution we know that the equation of a straight line is y is equals to a times x plus b and to solve this kind of uh, curve fitting linear equation we need to know two kinds of formula which is related to statics and the formula is the constant a times the sum of the value of x square and summation all of the x square value and put it with a and we need to add sum it and b which is another constant and sum all the value of x we have given here and then sum all the value of x and y it means that when we multiplicate x and y we will get a value and we will add all those values and make a sum of x times y here is the same a is the constant and we will sum all the values of x and we will sum it with b which is the another constant and n value is the 5 which is the number of pairs that we have here this 5 and the summation of all the value of y which is these values and as you can see the number of pairs is 5 which is n equal 5 now as you can see in the table i have put all the values of x that we have given in the table previously you saw that and we also put the values of y here and we add all those values of x and we found out the total value of x is 50 after adding those values and put it on summation of x and also same we did the same thing with y we'll sum all the values there and we add all those values and get a sum of 80 which is summation of y and here is x times y means you need to multiplicate 0 times 7 which is 0 and we also multiplicate those 5 times 11 which is 55 and we did all the same things here multiplicate and if we add all those values we also get the summation of x times y which is 1035 and we also go and need to find the x square value which is if we uh, square those values we get 0 and if we square 5 we get 25 if we square 10 we get 100 so we get all those x square values and we sum this we get 750 so keep in mind that we also need all those values summation of x summation of y and all those values uh, and we need to put all those values in the uh, given below equation so as you can see we now just need to put all the values in our below equation which are uh, a times summation of x square plus b times uh, summation of all x values and summation of uh, x y and a times summation of x plus b times um, the pair value n is equal 5 and uh, which is equal to the summation of y value and these are two equations and if we put all those values we will get suppose a is there so it will not change which is a constant and summation of x square the value of it is this summation of x square which is 750 so we put 750 there 
and plus sign and 50 is the value of summation x which is this value 50 and the b is the constant and it is also here present this is the constant which is equal to the summation of x y value which is the this one which is 1035 and as you can see this is the summation of x y value same thing with the second equation the summation x value is 50 times a plus n value is 5 and b is the constant which is equal to summation of y which is the this value which is 80 and if you solve this problem using the calculator you will get the value of a which is 0 0.94 and the value of b which is 6.6 .6. now i will show you how to solve this equation and find the value of a and b in es calculator which is efx 991 es plus so just click this mode option this one and here you can see in this 5 here you say eqn which is the equation table so i will press this 5 and here you can see all the equation table there you can select uh, the one that you need so we have our equation is a linear equation a b and there is our constant so we need to choose this first one a n x plus b n y is equals to c n because we do, do have only two variables so we will use the first one so click one so after i click one we have all those table for entering our values and the first value of a is 750 press equal sign and then we need to put the value of b which is this one uh, constant with b which is 50 this is the constant value and we need to put it 50 and then we need to put the value of this 1035 which is the constant value and press equal then for the same thing we'll do for this second equation and in this way you can find the and then you need to just press this equal button after entering all the values so as you can see we find the value of x is equal to 40 uh, 47 divided by 50 which is 0 0.94 we get one value which is this one 0 0.94 then if you press equal button again you get the value of your b which is the y and 33 divided by 5 if you press this s to d you will get 6.6 which is this value 6.6 .6. so as i told you before this was our ultimate equation for uh, straight line y is equals to x plus b as we know that we got our value of a and b and now we can put these values y is equal to 0 0.94 which is the value of a times x plus the value of b which is 6.6 .6, which is our required line this is the value of our line curve line and if you need to find the value of uh, when x is equal to 25 so this is our required line now in the question we have we need to find the value of y when x is equal to 25 and then we need to calculate the y when x is equal to 25 so here we does the same thing we find the value of y when x is equal to 25 this is our uh, wanted this is the required value that we need when x is equal to 25 just put the value of x is equal to 25 here and you will finally you got your proper answer you got your y is equals to 30.1 when x is equals to 25 that is our required so that was all from this video i hope you like it and if you like it subscribe to my channel and uh, peace out